my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Shannon. I am a full-time online reseller, which means I resell clothing, shoes, anything I can resell, I will sell online from thrift stores um, on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, and Etsy. I also just got accepted to start selling on the site called Shop Thrilling, which is a new vintage-only site. Check that out. My shop should be live within the next few days, so I'm super excited about that. Um, today I have thrift hauls for you. I'm probably going to divide this video into a few different videos. I have in, sitting in front of me literally four bags of stuff that have been sitting here for about two weeks. I need to film this video. Um, for some reason I can't get around to filming thrift hauls lately. It's just, and then I have to have the stuff out until I put it away so, so that I can film for you guys. Um, so the first, um, so all that being said, um, these thrift hauls are from a variety of places. I think one's from Salvation Army. This one that I'm about to show you is from a $10 bag sale that I went last Saturday and today's Thursday, May 13th. So it's been sitting here for quite a while. Everything you see has been listed. Um, so let's just get started. Um, and this is in no particular order. So this is from the $10 bag sale, like I said. The first item we have here is a Madewell crop top, size 16. Um, this is called the structured crop top. It's got the cute button detail in the back. It needs a little like spot cleaning because it has some deodorant spots. But other than that, it's in great condition. Um, this is a fossil, great brand to look out for, little leather wallet. I actually considered keeping this because it is a good size. Um, I do like, it has like, I like how it has this and then it comes out. So you can still put your money in it, but it's not like a bulky wallet. It's a really good size. This is just a pair of GAC jeans. Um, some of these things like I wouldn't normally pick up at a regular thrift store, <clears throat> but if it's at a bag sale, I will pick it up. So this is a good example of that. Um, but I thought these were cute and they're a good size. They're a size 32 and they are the true skinny high rise. They have kind of like that nautical feel. Speaking of nautical, I just got this top on Romwe. Let me stand up for you. Um, which is also owned by Shein, which I didn't know, and I love it. I'm obsessed. I just got my order yesterday, and I got a ton of cute stuff. I will definitely be shopping there again. Okay, so the next item is the brand Cool, K-U-H-L. Um, I saw this tag first, and because I have found them before and sold them, I knew that that's what it was, but if you go on the inside, there's the Cool tag, um, which I will find for you in a second, but this is called the Verena Pullover. And here's what the brand looks like there. Great brand to look out for. Every time I find it, it usually sells pretty quickly um, for quite a bit of money. So this is just a Calvin Klein jeans, men's um, denim button up. Um, I just thought it was nice. And since I was at a bag sale, I will pick that up. My best find of the day was an Outdoor Voices exercise dress. And it is the one that is the color black in size extra large, which is sold out on their website right now. If you want that color and that size, you have to sign up onto a wait list. So that was a really amazing find. It's already had quite a bit of interest. I'm hoping someone picks it up really soon. That should be around 80 to hundred dollars sale. <clears throat> so I'm not going to accept like low ball offers on that one. Um, these are just some polos, Gander Mountain, um, extra large. I picked this up just because, you know, hiking season, keeping an eye out for things that are sweat resistant, wicking, and this has all of those things for people that are looking for hiking things. Um, same with golf items. Keep an eye out for golf items. I've been selling, I've sold a few golf polos and a women's pair of golf shoes within the last few weeks. This is Liz Golf. Um, probably only like a $15 sale or so, but again, at a bag sale, you know, you pick up things that are, um, will hopefully flip quickly. So this I contemplated picking up. I figured I would try it. It's the brand Brooks Brothers and it is the sport shirt. I picked it up because it's part wool and I thought someone might like that. Um, so, and I thought the colors were nice. It's a men's, I think, large. This is just American Eagle, but it's super cute. Size extra large. Um, it's got the little things on the bottom. This smocking detail right here is really in right now. So I've been anything that's like good condition, smocking, I pick up. American Eagle does sell well for me. So 
Um, this is a pair of women's golf shoes, size 7. Again, I picked it up based on the season and hoping that those do well. This is the bottom of golf shoes. If you don't know and you see that out, that's what that looks like. I didn't know until I got home that these are um, Free People collab with this brand and the brand is Saludos. I actually found them for the first time a few uh, months ago and they haven't sold yet, but when I looked it up, I was pleasantly surprised at how much they retail for. But they're that really cool gladiator style multi-wrap um, with the tassel on the end. And these are a Free People by Saludos collab. And I, I listed it as that because I found other people had listed it for that. So we'll see how that does. And the only thing left in this bag is, I believe, two pairs of shoes. The first being this pair of Crocs. They are a size 8. They're in great condition. Crocs always sell really quickly for me, especially on Mercari. Uh, so I do keep an eye out for them, but I won't pay more than like probably $5 at a thrift store. These are Cole Haan. They're men's. I thought they were really nice. Driving shoe, kind of loafer. Um, the only problem is I didn't realize till I got home they're an eight and a half in men's. And I just think that's a really small size. So I don't know how that's going to do, but we will see. Okay, I found the exercise dress and this is it. Um, my first time finding the brand Outdoor Voices, absolutely great brand to look out for if you see it out. And like I said, it's the, um, discontinued or at least you have to get on a waiting list to get this size and this color. Um, great, great condition. If you see this out, it's called the exercise dress and it has the shorts underneath. Um, great item to look out for like I said so I'm not accepting any low offers on that I'm hoping to get at least $80 to 100 which is crazy these retail for these the resale value on these are great they only go for a hundred on the website and they can still I still sold, saw some selling for around 90 to 100 I don't normally pick up vests because they don't sell well for me at all but I was at a bag sale and I just thought this was so stinking cute with all of the little Cowboy boots, cowboy hats, cactuses. I just thought it was so adorable and unique. It's like handmade. It has no tag. Um, it's also got some patchwork details. You're going to hear my dogs downstairs. Um, picked up this Banana Republic. This is a, a suit. There's a pair of pants that match exactly the color. And it's a size 2. Um, except the bottom, the pants are a 2 petite and the jacket is a 2. But they're a really great, like, career piece. Um, so I think that those will do well. We'll see. I don't normally pick up suits, but um, I thought the brand was great. The style was great. Okay. And this is why it's so hard to do videos. Because so many technical errors, issues, whatever. Okay, we're back. So the next item is this really cute backpack. I was eyeing this for quite a few weeks at the surf store. It's really cute pebbled leather the brand um here it is i'm not going to pronounce it this this is what kind of made me look it up i couldn't find too much i mean some um bags were selling for around 50 to 70 so i just thought it was a cute style and we would try it um the next item is a hollister eyelet little top it's a size large i thought it was cute hollister actually does sell well for me and I thought it was right in season. Um, okay, so this is almost everything for the $10 bag sale and then I'll try to go over the rest with you guys. This is Daughters of Liberation, Daughters of the Liberation by Anthropology. Um, just these cute little purpley cargo shorts. They're a size six, I think, or an eight. They're a size eight. Um, and their sizing is interesting because it will say the number. It'll say number eight or number six if it's a six or an eight. So those are in great shape. Um, we'll see how those do. So this dress, I actually just sold a very similar dress on Depop, uh, which was a hot pink corduroy dress by the brand Topshop. This is by Forever 21, but it's got little pockets. It's so cute. Um, I will probably wear this a few times before it sells, but... I just thought it was really cute and I would try it again on Depop and it's got pockets in the back um, to see if it would sell. The next item is a Lou and Gray size medium, kind of heathered gray 
crew neck sweater. Really great condition. I don't see any flaws. It's got this little slit in the side. Sort of high-low because the back is a little bit longer than the front. Um, and it's in great condition. It's really soft and just a great piece. Okay, more golf items. This is a great golf brand to look out for. It's Callaway. And this is a good size. It's a men's 36 waist by 32 inseam. Just plain gray. Pretty boring. <laughs> but people search for these things. So we will see how those do. I'm just kind of experimenting with more men's items. I like selling men's stuff because they normally don't send you an offer. They just buy things outright. Most of the time because they're probably new Poshmark users who just went and made an account to buy that one thing. Uh, so I love selling men's items. The other thing I got, this is the last thing from that sale. Um, another experiment is this Polo by Ralph Lauren uh, men's pair of blue khakis thought these were good for like wedding season and someone might be searching for wedding pants um, to like attend a wedding. They're also a great size. They're a 40 waist by 30 inseam. So again, I'm just experimenting with that um, and we'll see how it does. So the next stuff. I um, okay, this is from a donation based thrift store. So I donated a bunch of clothes to them and I picked up these things. This is a lucky brand this is specifically the Venice Burnout collection, which I've never seen before. And it says, do not open until, I thought that was cool. It's a men's small. Um, and it's got that like sheer look to it. Um, these are a really cute pair of dance goes. I kind of wish these were my size. I don't know. I think they're cute and beachy. Um, I think they're a size eight and they're in really good condition. I don't see any flaws. Just a little like wear barely anywhere on the bottom but yeah those are dance goes that was a great find um okay i sold this exact puma golf polo a few weeks ago um puma sell i think it only sold for around 25 but it was a really quick flip and it had the same design except it was orange so i picked this up hopefully it'll sell quick it's an extra large in men's more golf items here so this is the brand Allison Whitmore Golf, and it's a size 12. Um, I really think it's cute, and it's a skirt. So it's got shorts underneath, great for golfing. So you look cute and you still feel comfortable. Great condition, I don't see any flaws. Um, I love the buttons on the front, and I love that little like mod print. It reminds me of the 60s. Okay, these are a pair of Helmet Lang jeans. I was excited to find these. Um, however, they don't really have a style name, Helmet Lang, there's the tag, you really have to kind of search for it. They don't have a style name, but they are on trend. They're skinny and they have the raw hem on the bottom. However, someone stitched on their own belt loop here. So I had to disclose that. Um, other than that, they're in good shape. They just don't have a style name. So I listed them over on Poshmark for like 45. We'll see what happens. Okay, I thought this hat was really cute. It's vintage, it's Alaska, it's got the dog sleds on it. These are just a pair of Volcom jeans. Um, I just thought they were cute, they're size 26, and they're kind of just, you know, dark wash, bootleg. Um, I don't normally pick up that brand, but we'll see how it does. Now this stuff is like mixed. Some of this stuff is from Salvation Army, some of this stuff is from the donation source, so I'm just kind of showing you guys what I have, but this I was from Salvation Army. This is Flax. This brand has not been doing as well for me as it used to do, probably like a year or two ago, but um, it is a size 2G, which is, I'll try to put the equivalent on the screen. I had to look it up, but it's a linen top. Flax is a great brand to look out for. Most, if not all of their stuff are linen. So people seek it out, but it's just, it hasn't been doing as well for me. Um, these are a pair of dance go clogs. Um, these are just a good work clog. Dance goes still sell really well for me. So these ones specifically are a little different than the ones I normally sell. So I'm going to see how they do. These I thought were super cute. They're J Crew. They're size eight and they are just so cute. They remind me of Dorothy from Wizard of Oz, except I know hers were red but they do have a little wear on the front. I did disclose that and a bit on the bottoms. And you're gonna hear my dog barking downstairs. Oh, this is a great find. This is also from Salvation Army. So this is the brand Joie. 
and it's not gonna focus but all right on the screen they're an extra small i really wanted to keep these i might wear them a few times um they're super cute they have the ruching on the top and then on the bottom as well they're a great like jogger pant but you can wear them out grocery shopping with a crop top like super cute um and i think they have yeah they have front pockets so really really wanted to keep those but i'm gonna sell them this was my first time finding this brand and the brand is frame denim they're a size 26 and this is specifically the lay skinny day jean crop they're in great shape i wasn't really sure if this distressing was meant to be there or if that was from wear but i think it's meant to be there because it does look like um intentional and it's just a really cute basic skinny jean um Comps on these are really good though. They're selling for 50 to 70, I want to say. Okay, I love finding Harley Davidson. I do find quite a bit of it in my area. This is a size small in women's, and it's just a Harley, really cute, blingy top with the eagle on it. And the back has the eagle wings. I really, really like that. It's from Pennsylvania. Um, it does have some fabric pulling which I did disclose and I tried to get it out with my um what's it called fabric thing but I didn't want to do it too much because I was afraid of ripping the fabric because that has happened to me before so um okay these are kind of boring but they're just golf polos Nike dry fit men's small and I picked up this Walter Hagen is this Walter Hagen no this is Ben Hogan uh, men's extra large again really keeping an eye out for the golf polos golf items um, this is a nike running women's extra small um, nike this is actually nike dry fit this brand specifically does really well for me in the compression shorts um, i always sell them really quickly for a good 20 to 25 dollars all right this brand is new to me but apparently it's worth a lot of money so the brand is called Xana Robe, and from what I could see online, they only sell men's stuff. So I was kind of confused because these are size 27, which is small for a men's size, but they are men's, um, and they're men's jogger, and they have the words yes. They have yes printed all over them. These retail for $130, so we'll see how they do. They're new for me. I just, if anything looks interesting, I always look it up. So I did that in the store and I was pleasantly surprised. So I'm gonna see how those do and I'll let you guys know. So these are a great running sneaker by Nike. Um, I looked these up and apparently this speckled kind of pattern is sought after. They haven't really gotten interest yet, so we will see what happens. I did list them high, so I probably listed them a little too high. Um, but yeah, the speckled, especially if you see like the black and white speckled when you're out, I would say pick it up. Um, but running sneakers have been doing really well for me. Okay, so this is Calvin Klein Performance. Size small, true to size, they fit me like a glove. Kind of wanted to keep them. Um, but they are really cool because they are ombre on the bottom. And they're in really great condition. I don't see any flaws. It looks like the person barely wore them. Um, and they are the Calvin Klein Performance um line which also calvin klein performance wick so um i've heard other resellers say that that does well i did just recently sell a calvin klein performance hoodie so um it does seem to sell pretty well okay this is an experiment i don't really know anything about sports but i do know that there are some miami heat fans out there and i thought that this was cool because it's cropped um it has the heat on the back and then or on the back the Miami 88 so I thought that that might sell over on like Depop we'll see this is a really cool I believe this is vintage Nike because the style is very vintage um, it's just a really nice sport top and it's got the drawstring on the bottom and the logo I thought that was really cute with the netting detail just really unique I think there is a spot on it somewhere but I did disclose it yeah, right here there's like a little thing which might come out um okay what else do we have 
All right, I'm kind of skipping around here because this video is going to get long and, um, yeah. So this is an American Eagle Soft and Sexy. This style name usually does well for me, um, but it's just a cute little tie-dye, very lightweight for summer. This was probably a mistake to pick up, but I couldn't leave it behind. I thought it was so cute. Um, so it's a women's medium, and I thought it was so cute. It says Simply Country on it with a pie, a bear, a sheep. I just thought this was so cute, and I don't know. I put cottagecore in the description, even though it's not exactly cottagecore, but I guess it could be. It's just so cute. Okay, I'm only gonna show you guys a few more things because the video is gonna be long, and to be honest, I'm looking forward to putting all of this away after this video so that I can stop looking at it in my office. I hate having a messy office. Find, this is, the brand Sundance, which my sister has sent me this brand and it sells usually really quickly. This is a white eyelet um, patchwork kind of shirt and it's a size large and it has eyelet on the back too. Um, yeah, Sundance is a great brand and it usually sells well. I don't even remember where I got this stuff to be honest. Oh, I know, this bag that I'm showing you guys now is from a local thrift store about 15 minutes away. That was closed since COVID and um, they just opened again last Thursday. So I ran over there that day. This is a Free People Thermal, little Henley. Um, it doesn't have like the cool special cuffs. If you see the Free People ones with like the really cool cuffs, pick those up. Um, so we'll see how that does, probably like $15. Okay, I picked up these Patagonia Boys uh, Kids 10 fish printed swim shorts these were like 50 cents i did get an offer on um ebay already for five dollars and i countered it at 15 but the person unfortunately disappeared this is another walter hagen golf polo just a black in large uh, i think i got a couple more golf polos at this trip these are a pair of blowfish i do really well with this brand um the only thing about these is that there is a crack right here in the cork so I did disclose that but otherwise like it doesn't look like they're about to crack where they would break and you might be able to fix it these are Sam Edelman um size nine Sam Edelman um turquoise sandal really great condition I don't see a lot of wear somewhere on the bottoms, but great condition for the summer. Uh, find. So I almost missed these. I went back to look at the shoes for a second time, and I'm so glad I did because I found Ted Baker London. These are apparently not going for as much as I realized. I don't know if Ted Baker's like resale value has gone down, but some of these were listed for like 25 and I'm like, I'm not listing them that low. So I listed them higher, but they do have some wear, um, but otherwise great condition great for summer they would match my shirt really another really cute shoe for summer these are cole han and they are uh what's that these are a seven i wish they fit me i'm a six and a half eyelet espadrille really really cute great condition okay and the last thing i'm going to show you guys even though there's probably some things i missed um are these basket baskets and trivets so I sell a lot of basket walls um, that you put on your wall and I have sold before the trivets to go with them because you can also hang these on your wall. So I thought these were really cute. They're just two apples. I thought those were different and I picked it up with this. So I listed this as a set and I have another little basket here which just fell on the floor but I listed, I'll show you the listing photo. I did want to hang them on the wall to show them but I couldn't get them to stay. So, um, that is everything that I got, um, really just a hodgepodge mix of everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. Um, like I said, if you see me wearing the same thing, it's because I had to split the videos up because I have a feeling this is going to be too long. If you see anything you like, I take a lot of offers. Um, as long as they're reasonable, I do take offers. And just so you know, a portion of my proceeds goes to a new animal shelter every single month. And I post that over on my Instagram, which is at Shanny Sells. So make sure to follow me over there. And thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.